it is a day. It is the 13th. And I should have known that when I got up this morning. Oh my gosh. Didn't get home till 10 to 1 this morning. Lots of things going on. Lots of planning. Lots of deal making. Lots of craziness. And then it's morning and I'm ripping and roaring and trying to get everything done. And then I look down and I said, oh, it's the 13th. I should have known that. To everybody who participated with us this weekend, to everybody who spent time telling Don happy birthday, telling Uncle John happy birthday, to everybody who appeared and, and made the day so very, very special, I realized at the end of the day as I was driving home that we had not celebrated Dawn the way we should have all of her life. She is an amazing story. She's an amazing success. Um, many of you know that when she gave birth to Ansley, she literally lost her life and my pastor was standing at the elevator telling me that they've lost her and they don't know if they can bring her back. The amazing surgeons at Crawford Long did emergency surgery on her. The baby survived. She was in a neonatal unit for over two months. But everything is God's plan. And I'm so very, very thankful that y'all were with us Saturday because Saturday was the day to celebrate. And oh my goodness, it was so much fun. It was a little hectic because we got a little bit behind schedule. And I'm, if I tell you I'm going to have dinner ready at 12, you better be there at 11.20 because it's going to be ready. And I'm going to be stressing and strutting and worrying and wondering and, and angry. And I will tolerate being late every once in a while, but tolerate's not my word. Tolerate is not something I, I don't like the word tolerate at all. And Don and I were laughing about it this morning because I said, Mama, how did you ever tolerate the things that we did? And I said, well, I said, it's like the world today. It's a little bit of toleration for everything, but um, some crazy things are happening, some amazing things are happening, and we are blessed. And Saturday was that big, huge blessing. So to everybody, who spent time with us. Thank you so very, very much. And to Uncle John Tinsley, who made it a little bit testy to have a surprise party for an 85-year-old because to sneak and grin and do the things we had to do, it wasn't easy. And it was like, he would question, well, what's this for him? What's that? Oh, no, no, I don't know. Well, it was for your birthday, silly. So we had a great, great day. And to both of you, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, we're gonna share a little bit. My favorite footage from the whole day was John Tinsley turning 85, dancing with his sweet sister Nancy and Dawn. They were doing the mini little uh, whatever, and it was precious, it was precious. So you're gonna get to see that later in today's show. But today is a program about things I love. And one of the things I love is the color purple. The other thing I love are diamonds, and diamonds are a girl's best friend. And today we're gonna talk about Diamonds, do you invest in diamonds? Do you hold diamonds? Do you buy diamonds? Do you pass diamonds down? What do you do with diamonds? Well, I wear them, and that's my thing. I like to wear them. So we're gonna be visiting with some young ladies who you might catch on Monday night doing a live show about diamonds because diamonds are a girl's best friend. So, had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, yesterday, capped, capped something. It was kind of like the end of an era. My director from Atlanta, as many of you know, passed away Christmas. And yesterday, as I stood at his grave in Kite, Georgia, which is a long, long way from home, his sister was telling me that he told her just a day or so before he passed that he wished he had not done something that he did because it caused him to go into um, having a heart attack, and we lost him. Fred Wyndham was my best, best, best support system. He was always there for me. He picked up the phone and called and checked on me. His precious little Nora was the same thing, and sadly, but happily, this sounds crazy, Lenora died 93 days after he died and um, she would not have wanted to be here without him. So I think it's, it was almost bittersweet <clears throat> that she's no longer, she, she was in bad health and he was taking care of her. And then he got a COVID shot and had an immediate heart attack and died. So, and he told his sister, he said, if I had to do it over again, I would never have done that. And it was one of those things that um, you make a choice. It's your choice. If you want to get the shots, you get the shots. If you don't want to get the shots, you don't. It's your choice. But he said he, he thinks he made the wrong choice. 
and it threw him into a complete heart attack and we lost him. And standing at his grave yesterday in hot, hot middle or central Georgia, whatever you call that place, it was so hot, but I was smiling and thinking about the trip we made to Alaska. We took a crew of 10 and we did five Telly Award winning programs there. We could not have done it without his guidance. He was the most amazing man ever. I miss him, I love him, um, I will forever treasure every moment we had together and I'm so very, very thankful for the memories because it was great. He took some shots of me, I was sitting on a rock in the middle of the Kenai River <clears throat> and I was just bawling because it was so beautiful and life was just, I'd buried my husband, my husband loved Alaska and I'm sitting in Alaska and I'm just having a bawling fit. And Fred got some footage of that and he showed it to me one day and I said, oh my God. And he said, that's real. He said, you are above and beyond the most amazing person I've ever seen because you have done it all and you've survived it. And I think that's what we do is we survive it. And um, when Don and I were talking about what do you tolerate and what do you deal with and what is toleration and how do you, how do you act when somebody treats you badly? Um, you tolerate it and you go on and, and you, forgive and so we're going to forgive anybody who has been mean and nasty and evil and she was reading me a bible verse and I said oh my gosh that's perfect and then I picked up this little book that my sweet Don gave me and I think this is appropriate for today the next time you're angry give up your fighting stance and fall to your knees to complete surrender to God give up your anger your pain and your hurt to him and forgive and pray for the person you're angry with well, boy, that was amazing because uh, I, I just, today is June the 13th, and I'm like, really? The next time you're angry, give up your fighting stance and fall to your knees to complete surrender to God. Um, give up your anger, your pain, and your hurt to Him and forgive and pray for the person you're angry with. So that's, that's pretty appropriate and pretty cool. And again, uh, my sweet Don says, Mama, you just have to, you just have to, you know, just accept and, and when somebody's mean and somebody's cruel and somebody's cold and calculated, you just let them be. You just let them be. So, and, and she said, what do you hear from God? And I said, he always says, be still, be still, just be still. And it's, it's very weird, but um, he's real. God is real. And so we reach out to him today. And when you're having a bad day, it is the 13th, but it's not Friday the 13th. So celebrate the moment, celebrate the day and enjoy every single moment of life. And I did that yesterday. It was fantastic. And we're gonna show you some footage of, I don't know if y'all have watched the movie Sweet Home Alabama, but it's like my forever favorite movie. And my favorite line in the movie is, why do you wanna marry me so I can kiss you anytime I want to? I love that movie. And we got to go to the place where part of the movie was filmed yesterday in Crawfordville. I'm gonna show you some videos. We're gonna share some pictures. And I think probably my favorite moment of the trip was when we pulled into a church that was built in 1866 by surviving and living and, and oh my God, amazing slaves who had been freed. And this church, you will get to see some photos of it, absolutely beautiful. And when you, I opened the door and I did a video and it's like the church has never been closed, but then you open the doors to the bathrooms and all the plumbing's ripped out and it's torn up and the floor's gone. But as you enter the church, it's just like they had church service. They walked out the church service, they closed their door and they never came back, but they're trying to restore this church. And if you're sitting at home with a whole bunch of money and you have nothing to do with it, I'm gonna share the information on my Facebook page because this is a, a, a real work in progress to save this beautiful, beautiful church. And it was amazing. It's between Crawfordville and Sparta, Georgia. And it is absolutely beautiful. You're gonna get to see the restaurant. It's Heavy's Barbecue, which is where they had Stella's place in the movie Sweet Home Alabama. You're gonna get to see that. And I can tell you, they have great food. And um, you know, it's, it's about love and life and enjoying every single moment. And I can say this weekend probably tops the weekends of my life in a long, long time. It was wonderful and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being so supportive of my family and thank you for loving me. So um, I appreciate each and every one of you. We're gonna take a commercial break. When we come back, 
we're going to talk about my favorite things. One of my favorite things is entertaining. And on July the 4th, I'm inviting each and every one of you, this building won't hold all of you, but each and every one of you to stop by 312 South Main Street here in LJ. We are having an open house with a live band. We're going to have refreshments. We're going to have sitting around giggling and laughing and having a really, really good time. And um, Susan Liebert will be one of our hostesses. Evelyn will be. I will be there. Don will be there. Ansley will be there. We're going to be just putting on a spread and putting on live music. And we want you to come and see a beautiful property that we have listed here in LJ. It is right across the street from the hardware store, from Ace Hardware, the hardware store. And it is absolutely a great property. It has a beautiful cabin, and then it has the metal building. And I have all kinds of ideas in my head on what these two places could be. So come by. We've just listed it. It's on the market, and I would love to show it to you. And I want you to come and hang out with us. This is 5 p.m. on July the 4th. So during the parade, the band will be playing if you want to get out of the heat and you want to sit and enjoy, enjoy some time with us. And then this is, we just showed a, a photo of Fred Wyndham's grave. You know, when I think about um, my life today, he's responsible for it. He kept me in television. He made me do what I do. And he said, I know you love your job and we're going to keep doing it. And that's, that's what life's about. Do what you love and uh, be supported by the people who love you. So. We're going to take a commercial break. We're going to come back and talk about something I love because I do love diamonds. Everybody who knows me knows I do love diamonds. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. My favorite subject, diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friends. Girls, have y'all ever heard that before? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Okay, introduce yourselves and tell people a little bit about your business. Okay, I'm Christina. And I'm Molly. And we're from North Georgia Diamond. Um, we have been here for, so, or they have, business has been for 18 years. It's kind of a mom and pop shop and we are dog friendly. We love the dogs that we have at work. And do you honestly have your dogs running around the office? <laughs> That oh, is yes. so cool. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I know, I know some friends who will love that. Okay, tell me a little bit about what you're doing now to feature diamonds and, and gold and pearls and everything else on Monday night. What's happening there? 
So we're doing Facebook Lives, and you can actually purchase through our Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. So we're picking out special pieces, giving special deals, doing, you know, giveaways and things and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's really fun, and, you know, we like to interact with everybody. And, and that's what I was going to ask you. Everybody is into interaction. Yes. And so you want to respond. You want that wow moment. You want to pull out that piece that somebody's sitting at home going, oh, my God, that is mine. I've got to yes. have that. And how fast do people react? Oh my gosh, we love it. We've had great reactions from it, whether it's people commenting or people coming in the next day and saying, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I need to see this piece in person. Right. I need to try it on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Personally, what's your favorite stone? Um, my favorite stone, I probably had to say is a ruby just because mm -hmm. it's my birthstone. Yeah. And then of course, like a diamond as well. We can't go wrong yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, and what's yours? Mine would probably have to be an Alexandrite. It is like um, a little bit of a color changing stone, so mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I really like that. I think it's a, a neat yeah, stone. Yeah. What's your favorite? Well, yeah. I love diamonds. I just love diamonds. I just think diamonds tell the story. You know, mm -hmm. they, they, they say I love you. They say I, I, I can remember when this, this piece got me in so much trouble with my husband because this is my original wedding band melted down oh. and my mother's original engagement diamond melted down and my husband blew a gasket on me because I, he had bought me this and I said, Sugar, I can't wear it all. So I had my wedding band. He said, if I'd have had you, if I'd have wanted you to wear a frying pan, I'd have bought you a frying pan instead of a wedding <laughs> band. I said, uh-oh. So I got in a bit of trouble and I learned I should have just bought the gold. People can come in and buy gold, and you can design things for them, can't you? Absolutely. So we have a full service store. One of so your mics sitting on. Check your mics. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Mine's on. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> so we have a full service store. So in the back, there is a full shop. We have three jewelers and then a designer, two designers now as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we do everything in house, whether it's custom design or repairs, like you said, turning your wedding ring into something like that. We do all of that in store and everybody is super experienced and we do a really phenomenal work. That's something that we love doing is repairs. Has anybody ever walked in there with an idea that your jeweler went, are you crazy? You know, because when I did this, I've had this for 44 years. I've worn this for 44 years. And you think about, I remember walking into the jeweler in Cumming, Georgia, and I had drawn what I want. And I had my gold band and my mama's engagement ring. And I said, this is what I want. And he said, not a problem. And I was like, really? <laughs> you know, it was so simple. Is it that simple to do this if people come up with creative ideas? Oh, absolutely. Um, everything's like rendered on the computer for like a CAD design so mm -hmm. that you can come in. So like, let's say you have an idea, you have these gold pieces that you want to turn into this and you have a sketch. Well, we'll turn that sketch into the computer so that you can see it kind of live in 3D. Mm -hmm. And it is really cool. It's a fun process. We do everything in shop. And it's just so fun to like have your own pieces turned into something new that you That's enjoy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And how many people have one earring that you've lost one and you just die because well I might find the other one so you keep that piece of gold forever <laughs> melt it down for goodness sake just take it over there and say hey make me something else absolutely yeah, yeah. there's so many different creative ideas there's really I, I like to say that there's no real rules when it comes to jewelry so there's absolutely anything that you can do like you can be as creative as, as you want and we can make all your dreams come true mm -hmm. it's really okay. cool that we can offer that in LJ. Yeah. It is, and, and what about estate pieces? Because I, I told y'all before we went on the air, that's my favorite thing. I have a beautiful um, platinum and diamond, like three carat um, watch that is the 1920s that I absolutely love. I love that watch. And it's one of those things that I hardly ever wear it. I wear this stupid thing every day, you know, because this tells me what I'm doing. But, but I love that antique watch. Do people still wear watches? Because we all have our phone that tells us what time it is. We all, you know, do people still wear expensive watches? Oh, absolutely. I am a fanatic about watches. Actually, right now in our estate collection, we have this beautiful kind of clock watch necklace that I oh, just wow. absolutely love. And um, watches are really popular. We also do watches as well, so like taking links out and batteries mm -hmm, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we are constantly getting people, whether it's like Citizen or Boulevard, or different watches come in and we'll do repairs on them mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Do you do repairs on the uh, big boy expensive, expensive watches, or do you have to specialize and send them off? How do you how do you work with those? We have a watchmaker that will come and um, pick them up, and mm -hmm. we'll work on them that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And um, I think that's important because sometimes when a watch quits, you just put it away. Well, don't put it away. Get the thing fixed and use it. You Absolutely. Know? Use it. And, and it's like I wore, my, I wore my diamond watch to a wedding a couple of weeks ago. And it's crazy because I, I looked and I said, oh, my God, it's not working. The battery quit while I was at the <laughs> wedding. It was like 3 o'clock all day long. And I said, oh, no. So um, to get a battery done, you just walk in and they do it while you wait? Um, we can do it while you wait, but typically we have it next day by about 3 o'clock. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So if people are doing their Walmart shopping today and they know they're going to be back in Walmart a couple of days later, then they could drop it off with y'all and then pick it up. Absolutely. Yeah. What about pearls? Because I have a strand of pearls I absolutely love. I rarely wear them, but I love them. Do people still love pearls? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And that is, you know, June's birthstone as well. Mm -hmm, so we're in the mm -hmm. month for pearls. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, we restring pearls. Mm -hmm. We do that as well. And we have a lot of people that come in, you know, just genuinely want to know, are your pearls real? Yes. Or, you know, are they, you know, costume or, mm -hmm, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So. yeah, I have some of those real ones that you <coughs> read all the precautions, don't spray your hairspray, don't mm -hmm. do this. Yes. We have to take care of our jewelry because mm -hmm. it is a huge investment, but it's also a great way to capitalize and make money at the end of your life because if your kids are smart they will pay attention to what these things the values are our values going up in diamonds and gold oh my goodness yeah gold has recently hit like the all-time history high so something that we also do is gold and silver coins as well so mm -hmm. that is becoming more and more popular with kind of everything that's going on in the world right now that is a great way to do investment is gold and silver coins and that's right. something that we deal with yeah and, and you don't think about, what about, I have an, an elderly lady and I babysit her mother's silver. If you have your mother's antique silver and the whole set isn't there, would you keep it as your mother's or your grandmother's antique silver or would you melt it down? What is silver doing today? So you can come in, we do buy silver. And um, silver is up as well, mm -hmm. as well with gold. And you know, we, we buy coins too, if you have mm -hmm. silver coins. We even buy, you know, the, the silver sets like you're talking about, mm -hmm. the silverware sets and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, we do that as well. And we've had fun ideas as well that maybe you only have like one or two of the spoons and not mm -hmm. like the full spoon. You can also turn that into like pieces that you can wear as well. Right. So that's yes. something Thinking fun that, that we've done yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, I think we have about 24 pieces of her stuff and it's not, all the place settings and she just she treasures it and I thought how can we do this to make it either profitable for her by melting it down which would make me cry or do something so she can enjoy it one of my other friends has like a silver plate that her and her mom had and both of them had like floral prints on mm -hmm. both sides so we kind of turned that into like a collar kind of <gasps> necklace with oh the floral gosh, print cool. on it from the plate so that was really cool yeah that is cool and mm -hmm. it's on a necklace a chain yep yeah oh and gosh. it's like a thick kind of uh, silver oh, like how floral neat piece is that mm -hmm. yeah yeah now now, what is silver worth? Do you know? Did y'all check prices this morning? Um, I didn't check prices this morning, um, but it's definitely on the up and rise. It's a great investment piece. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's sometimes like a little bit undervalued, I would think, so that mm -hmm. it is definitely going to rise in the future and consistently. Yeah. Yes. Okay, white gold, yellow gold. What's in today? A lot of white gold, but yellow gold is coming back. Yeah. yeah. It, it, really, it really is coming All back. All my life. I've been a yellow gold girl. I just can't <laughs> help it. I don't care what the trend is. I don't care what the phase is. It's yellow gold. I think that the good Lord made gold yellow. Yeah. <laughs> That's just my story. So I worked at a jeweler in Atlanta when I was 15, and that set the tone for the rest of my life. It was all about gold jewelry because that's what was popular then. And it just, oh my gosh, I just love it. I just love it. We also have rose gold jewelry as well. And mm -hmm. then um, we do have a few pieces that are like the Black Hills gold that has mm -hmm. green gold in it as well. Mm -hmm. So that's something really cool because you don't see that too often. Yeah, yeah. Now, what is the trend that men are wearing a different wedding band now? They wear, instead of a gold band, you know, you always, the gold band. But now they're wearing, is it stainless steel or something? What is this that guys have gone to? Um, we all different types of you know alternative metals such mm -hmm. as um, tungsten. Um, you've got stainless steel, mm -hmm. ceramic, 
Um, we even have a metal now called tantalum. Mm -hmm. um, a, lot, a lot of the guys like that. We have like a whole collection of like really neat rings made out of whiskey barrels and like different stuff that you think, You're you know, yeah, that you yeah. know you wouldn't you wouldn't see every day. Uh -huh. And a lot of the guys are liking are liking the, that look now versus like you know just the gold. Now, if you deal with Bridezilla and she walks in and Honey picked out her engagement ring and it wasn't exactly what she liked. Have you ever seen that happen? <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> and what do you do and how do you tell a man, oh my gosh, you're amazing and you bought me this beautiful ring, but it's not exactly what I had in mind. So how do you deal with that? Well, you, I mean, you really just talk to them and, you know, she could always um, upgrade. We do an upgrade program where you mm -hmm. have to come in and you upgrade your bridal set and you, as long as you buy 25% more, you get your full amount back that what you oh, paid wow. for it. Oh, wow. So, That's pretty yes, awesome. So, so maybe yeah. on our fifth anniversary, mm -hmm. if you make it five years, <laughs> <laughs> if you make it five years, maybe that would be a good plan. That's neat. And we yeah. also yes. offer that with studs as well. Yes. So if you want to you. upgrade your studs as well, you can do it with your bridal set and your studs as oh, well. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yes. Now on a custom piece and a redesign, how long does that take? From start to finish, typically about um, four to six weeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're involved in the whole process, which is really neat. We mm -hmm. call you, you know, and let you come in. You kind of get to, you can even stand there and pretty much style it with Miss Allison, the styler mm -hmm. and the owner. Mm -hmm. um, she's our designer. And you can just, you know, stand there and pretty much, if you don't like something, she'll twist it around right there in front of you. And mm -hmm. it's, it's really neat yeah, to see. Yeah. And then you come in and you can try on the 3D resin. Yes. So it kind of um, is like a piece that you can try on and see kind of what it looks like. It's not like fully casted in gold yet, but mm -hmm. it's a really cool kind of like prototype piece. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody says, if you take your gold and your diamonds in, how are you assured that you get back what you took in? How safe is it? How, how trustworthy are you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. look at all of our reviews online and just ask anybody in town, mm -hmm. we are we are prideful in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. Everything's safe and secure. It goes in the safes at night. Everything you get um, on your receipts, you get pictures back of everything. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions okay. or anything, we can always write things down and make sure that everything is the way that it is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. What about appraisals? Do you do appraisals? Yeah. Yes. And what, how do you charge for an appraisal? Is it a percentage of the appraisal? Um, no, the appraisal is $85. Okay. And um, it would be the same as like any other repair. It typically, um, it depends on the time frame, but maybe about two weeks, but we like getting things done a little bit sooner than that. Mm -hmm. We always wanna get it back to you as soon as possible. And then we just do an appraisal for the piece. We can print it out for you or send you an email with it. You know, after what happened to me and all my jewelry getting stolen, I found out I had about a tenth of the insurance I needed. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's a wise investment, maybe Absolutely. every five years, to yeah. have your jewelry yes. appraised mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's going up in value. Yeah. And why not protect it? You protect your home, you protect your car, so your jewelry is part of that. Absolutely. And, and I learned a hard lesson, and I learned a hard lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's important. Now, what's your favorite part of your job? I would say just making the relationships with people, connecting with people, and you know, you get to be a part of that person's um, life, mm -hmm. you know, with making special occasions and helping them, you know, pick out exactly what they know that their significant other is going to love. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, you get to help him and help them in that process. So it, it's, it's just really neat. I like the relationship. Okay. About what now? Lab grown diamonds. Yes, we Tell do carry lab grown that. diamonds. <laughs> How do you grow a diamond with, with fertilizer and some dirt? How do you do that? So, um, a lab grown diamond is a diamond. We compare it to like maybe a rose that is in a greenhouse versus one in the wild. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the greenhouse, they're beautiful, have this nice vibrant red color. And out in the wild, you know, they might not be so vibrant or, mm -hmm. you know, they, they might not be so, you know, big and, and pretty. Mm -hmm. So, with um, with lab grown diamonds, they grow it, grow it from a diamond seed in a contain in a controlled environment, so it is grown the same way in the lab that it is formed in the ground, and but they just do it you know in a controlled environment. They mm -hmm. are about thirty to fifty percent less mm -hmm. than your regular mined diamonds mm -hmm. because you know you're not having to pay those mining costs, mm -hmm. and they are just gorgeous. 
oh my gosh, yeah. gorgeous diamonds. So <laughs> many people come in and they want the lab diamonds. That is yes. what's in, that is new. And you can wow. get that bridal ring that you have always wanted or whatever piece you have always wanted with the cost in your budget. So yeah. now you're able to, to buy that bigger wow. diamond for yourself. And oh, it yes. is really super popular. It's, it's really cool that they're able to do that with jewelry. It's really come a long That's way. That's so weird to me. It's <laughs> yeah. like taking a little grain of sand and growing it to what you want. Mm -hmm. Now, your favorite and your biggest piece in the store. What's your favorite piece in the store? I, it has to be that clock piece that I was <laughs> yeah, telling you about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just yeah. eyeball it all the time. And I love it. Did somebody bring it in and trade it in on something because it is an estate piece? How did you get that? Um, I, I'm not quite sure on that piece in particular. I would have to kind of look how mm -hmm. we put it in, mm -hmm. um, but perhaps. Yeah, because what if your mom died and, and you and your sister go through all the stuff and you pick out what you want and she picks out what she wants and then there's five or six pieces, you have no nieces, you have nobody who wants it, you take it to a jeweler and you get fair market value. Mm -hmm. And then you can either buy yourself something that you really would like to remember mom by, maybe even a strand of pearls or something like that. Mm -hmm. but, but so many people just have that jewelry laying around they do nothing with and why not turn it into cash? Exactly, yeah, we can either write you a check for it the day that you come in, or we also offer consignment as well on certain pieces mm -hmm. so that you would put it in our case and then it's kind of mixed in and it's on consignment. Mm -hmm. And then we also um, would do trade in towards maybe a repair, if maybe there's some other pieces that you wanted to repair mm -hmm. or towards a new purchase as well, or a custom design. So we're really flexible. There's so many different things mm -hmm. that we can mm -hmm. do. And we all know somebody who says, you know, my mom wore that all the time, but it's just not my style. Yes. And so, you know, you want to do something and you want to turn it into cash. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Now, what are your hours? We're open Monday through Friday from 11 to 6 and on Saturday from 11 to 5. And if somebody comes in and says, oh, my gosh, I lost my diamond. How do you replace diamonds? Is that... Ugh. Does that happen? Oh, absolutely. How important is it to check your prongs and to get your rings checked up? Mm -hmm. It's like a medical checkup. You better check yeah. up your diamonds. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I am the repair department manager, so I really recommend for you to bring in, um, especially on the substantial pieces that you're wearing like all the time, every six months to a year, kind of like a car to get them checked and make sure that everything is nice and mm -hmm. tight and secure. Mm -hmm. We don't really think about it, but when we're wearing rings all the time, they're bumping up against things, they're getting worn against things, so mm -hmm. um, just like the regular maintenance to get things checked and tightened yeah, and things yeah, like that. Yeah. And then we also offer like warranty. So let's say you brought in your grandmother's ring and then we did some work to it and you wanted to put a warranty on it as well for a year. We can mm -hmm. do that as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're, I don't know, on vacation and you like accidentally bump your ring on something and you notice one of the diamonds fall out, bring it back to us. We'll replace it for you. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Because we've all made that mistake. We've all lost something. I lost, I'll never forget this. I owned a restaurant. Now you had to be at work at 5.30 in the morning. Oh my goodness. I got up at 4.30 in the morning and one morning I was getting dressed and I brushed my hair and my stud fell out. And I called my staff and I said, I'll be there when I find this diamond. And they said, what? Who's gonna make the biscuits? I said, oh no, that's y'all's problem. <laughs> I gotta find this diamond and I'm down. And this was long, long, long ago, shag carpet. Y'all aren't old enough to know what shag carpet is. But in shag carpet, when you lose a diamond, you're in trouble, you're in so much trouble. And I was on my hands and knees doing this until I found it, then I went back to work. You know? But some things are even more important than the biscuits coming out of the oven on time when there was a diamond. So it's so important to protect them because it's a lifelong investment. Mm -hmm. And yes. we always have um, jewelers um, in the back in the shop, so we can always ask them questions or bring things to them to see if they recommend anything on your piece. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. Sometimes, like, let's say we have a new purchase, a new bridal ring or something like that. We can t we typically try to like size it for you that same day because we have the jewelers on hand. It really allows us to have a lot of flexibility within mm -hmm. the store. Mm -hmm. If a bride comes in and she says, I lost his wedding band in the and the wedding is tomorrow. And she knows she put it up somewhere safe. You could loan her one, couldn't you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Because you think about it. <laughs> she bought it from you and she said, I'll put this up, and then she forgets. Because <laughs> we've all done that. And you're like, I know I put it somewhere safe. <laughs> and it's really safe because you can't find it. What about a bride who comes in and wants her mother's ring redesigned on a crunch? Does that happen a lot? We, d we do get that sometimes mm -hmm. and you know if you need it by a certain date we're probably able to do it for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean there, there's no 
you know, there's no limits. The or idea that you can do, do in house custom yes. work. I mm -hmm. mean, that's like amazing. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Because, we really yeah. love it. We're so privileged. It's so cool that we yeah. have a great team back there to put a, all the pieces together and make everything work. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of like you said, so I had someone come in and they're like, I'm on a time crunch. I need it by this day. It was maybe like two weeks, but we got it done. We're mm -hmm. like, okay, everybody, yeah. we're going to put this together and there get this go. done. Yeah. And that's why you have great reputations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. what matters. Now tell me about your program on Monday night so we can get people focusing on that. <laughs> yeah, so we go live every Monday night at seven mm -hmm. and um, we do we <coughs> try to, you know, do a theme for each each show that we do and we're selling jewelry. So, you know, it's just as easy as giving us a text message and commenting the letter that you like that you see that we're that mm -hmm. we're presenting. Mm -hmm. And we do um, hand pick everything for the customers. Mm -hmm. So everything that we have on there is hand picked and we always try to you know, talk about and explain everything, and it's just fun. Mm -hmm. We just have fun with it. Yeah. So. yeah. so tonight's episode is on Pearl, since it is the birthstone for June, and then oh, it also is for Father's Day as well. So we yes. put together some great gifts for Father's Day. Well, pearls to me speak elegance. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just yes. elegant. It's yeah. elegant, and you just love. And, and we think about Jackie O, and we think Princess Diana, and those women wore pearls like nobody ever wore pearls. And it's just, it's a timely piece. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's, yes. it's forever. You can wear it to a, a wedding, an anniversary. You can wear it every day with just a little black dress to the office. And yeah. I think sometimes people forget that pearls can be dressed up or dressed down. I saw a lady that had on a beautiful strand of pearls. She had a really cool top and, and great jeans and a jean jacket, and mm -hmm. it looked amazing. And I was like, wow, I would never have thought about doing pearls that way, but it looked great. So, and yes. they're also like a staple piece for like graduation. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of girls for graduation wear the pearl strands, or even mm -hmm. like wedding as well. Mm -hmm. Like that is a um, great gift for a wedding mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And you said that you do restring. Um, yes. If you have have the has the trend changed, and what what do people do? They wear them longer? Do they wear them shorter? What do people like? I, the chokers used to be an I oh, that gives me the creeps. I can't stand anything close around my neck. So, so what are people looking for? Are they looking for longer, shorter, offer length? What are they looking for? Really like a, an average length. So the average length is 18 inches, which mm -hmm. is, you know, what I have on now. So mm -hmm. that's about where mm -hmm. that's going to fall. Right. And this is pretty, pretty average. Now you do have the occasional customer that'll come in that wants them, you know, maybe up higher, or maybe a really long strand. Mm -hmm. But really you're in that 18 inch, mm -hmm. pretty average piece. Mine falls like right here and it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely yes. perfect. And so. something that's popular as well is like the really long strands that you I can double wrap. I do mine. Yes. I'm one yeah. of those too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. that. I think that's my favorite fun piece. Yeah, because I, I like to do that one. And yeah. something on tonight's show that we actually got is like me, I always misplace my glasses. So it's like a little pearl strand of like for holding your glasses. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That's so cool. Now, what about amethyst? Are people buying amethyst still? Absolutely. Yeah. All the different birthstones <coughs> and mm -hmm. things like that. I love amethyst. It's just, I guess, because purple's kind of like my color. And uh, <laughs> there's something about that amethyst. It just it looks like royalty to me. I love yes. it. I love it. What about the antique estate pieces? Is there um, price points when you're doing your show? Do you start with maybe an inexpensive piece that everybody can afford and then you go to the big granddaddy, the big one? <laughs> do you start, how do you do your pricing when you do a show? So in, in our shows, we do try to keep everything for all different price ranges. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we could start with our gold and diamond section or we could start with our sterling silver. But we do have all different price ranges for everyone. Mm -hmm. We always try to keep that in mind and we always have a big deal as well. Mm -hmm. So we always do, do a big deal at the end. And so. what's tonight's big deal? Do we know? Tonight's big oh, we'll, deal. We'll leave that as a okay. surprise yeah. for tonight's <laughs> show. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Now tell people about how to how to get on there and watch your Facebook because it's going to be tonight at seven o'clock. Yes. Yes. Okay. How do they do it? So you'll go onto our Facebook page at you know a little bit before and there there will be um, a post there with our is live. Is it North Georgia Diamonds? Is yeah, it? Okay. Yes. North Georgia Diamond. Okay. And our live is called North Georgia Diamond Live. Okay. And we recommend like giving our page a thumbs up so yes. that you will get like alerts for maybe like next show if it's you're wanting to watch it like every mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you know pearl studs. Do people still wear pearl studs? Yeah, oh, so yeah. that's something I don't have anymore. I need to get some. Oh, yeah, yeah come visit us. We don't happy. have any of those. I never think about that when I wear my pearl. I don't have any pearl studs. Well, there you go. Think about <laughs> come it. Come on yeah. in and get some. Clean it. Clean it. 
Okay, tell folks again, um, your hours are every day but Sunday, 11 to 6. And what about your phone number? What's the phone number at the... It is 706-515-1551. So if they have questions, if they want to meet with the jeweler and make sure they're in and make sure that they could get a custom piece, let's challenge everybody. Go through your jewelry box. Get out the pieces you don't wear, you don't use, and bring them in and either get an estimate on selling them or get an estimate on taking that gold and doing like I did and making a piece that made your husband so mad he could have died, but then he loved it. <laughs> he loved it later. I have to say he did love it later. But he was like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Yeah, Facebook one more time. Tell tell them again. It's North Georgia Diamonds. Yeah, and it's at 7, and it'll be probably like the first post whenever you go to our North Georgia Diamond page. Just go mm -hmm. ahead and give our page a thumbs up, and you will be getting alerts for when we're about to go live and or um, when we just went live, you'll get a notification for it. And hopefully soon in the future, we will be on YouTube and Instagram as well mm -hmm. so that maybe someone who doesn't have Facebook can view us as well. Right. And then we have, when you're watching our Facebook Live, we'll kind of explain how it works, and it's super simple and easy, mm -hmm. and we love the interactions that we get with everybody for that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, right now, we're going to let them slide out of here in just a minute, but we're going to go. I'm going to share you part of my weekend. It was a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and part of it meant that I got to relive the movie Sweet Home Alabama because never did a bride make me so happy when she left the aisle and ran out and married the other guy. I loved it. So <laughs> it was cool. So today, I'm going to share. I met this wonderful young man um, in Crawfordville, Georgia. He was doing his work to clean up the restaurant. And uh, he's worked at this restaurant since I believe he told me 2018. I hope that you will absolutely take a trip to Crawfordville and get to know this, this beautiful town where the movie Sweet Home Alabama, many, many scenes were done. I was lucky enough to get this short interview and to get to go inside this restaurant. It was closed on Sunday. It's open Monday through Saturday. And on Monday, the first Monday night of the month, they have a very special night in. It's by reservations only, but you can pick up the phone and call. And it's Nick's Restaurant in Crawfordville. So we're going to take you now to a little trip, and you're going to get to meet a wonderful young man who works really hard in a place that he loves. The population of Crawfordville is less than 480 people. And to see a business surviving in a town where almost all the buildings were closed, there was very little activity in this town, but this gentleman has a restaurant, and this young man works for him, and it just, it just made my heart feel good. So I want you all to sit back now and watch this interview with um, Nick's Restaurant down in Crawfordville, Georgia. I am invading the privacy of this young gentleman who is working, and I've interrupted you, but can you tell me a little bit about this great restaurant? Yes, ma'am. We're still outside. We yeah, we can. So background you music. Background music. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. So, first, my name is Kevin, Kevin Brooks, and uh -huh. I am a long-time native of this, of Crawfordville, Georgia, uh -huh. and this building used to be three store, stores that opened throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And this building itself is 111 years old. Wow, how cool is that? And so, from what I was told, the first store was a gun store. Uh -huh. And when that closed, that took back in night, around the early 1900s. Uh -huh. So that closed, the second the second owner, he turned into a grocery store. Mm -hmm. And it was a father and son running the store. And when that closed, so no, the last owner who had the store, his name was J Mr. J.P. Ellison. He ran the clothing store. Mm -hmm. Ran for a good while until his passing or, or his health decline. Mm -hmm. And it closed around the early 1990s. Wow. And so he left the business to his daughter. Her name is Lauren Ellison. Mm -hmm. And we we were a restaurant when the chef named Nicholas Flores came mm -hmm. around 2015. And he came to open on, on the back street. Mm -hmm. which, that was an old building. It was mm -hmm. a bonus cafe. Mm -hmm. And his name for this restaurant when we first opened, Mama Schuster's Cafe. Uh -huh. I ran, saw that on the sign, yeah. yeah. And that ran from 15 to 2020. Uh -huh. And we left from that building. Uh -huh. And we bought this building from Miss Laura Ellison. A same. big deal to move up this far because this is big. This yes, is a big building, yeah. And again, it says in memory of Mama. Tell me about her. Tell me about her. Um, so that, hey, that name for his mother, uh -huh. which you know, 
It's Mother Jesus in, 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 in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So he named the building from her. Wow. And so we wow. kept in memory of that restaurant since we closed. And then he named it himself in each place. That is so cool. And that we is so opened cool. This I week. wish you were open today, but you're not. No, man, we no. aren't. This one we had the time to buy the groceries. Yeah. Or if you can see our schedule. Yeah, I saw that. I posted hours. that. Yeah. So yeah. all the days were open. Yeah, and I suggest anybody who wants to come and visit Crawfordville, I'm here because I love the movie Sweet Home Alabama. Have you ever watched that movie? Yes, ma'am, I have. I've watched it about 5,000 times. Okay, yeah, a lot of customers. <laughs> we had actually a lot of tourists that came just to see the That's location. Right. That's right. Where the movie was shot when they were driving through the town. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, now tell me a little bit. You said you're from Crawfordville, been here all your life. Yes, ma'am. And I began working here around 2018 when we was back on that mm -hmm. street mm -hmm. on um, Mama Shooters. How did y'all make it through the COVID crisis? It was good, but we, we, how that began, we was open until the full effect, March 13th, mm -hmm. 2020, to the effect. Mm -hmm. And then they told every stay, every restaurant, everything to shut down. Shut down. So yeah. when... We had a waitress, she left due to her kid have a medical condition, so she didn't want to take the chance. She left, mm -hmm. and it was just it was just us and the chef. And wow. what we did, how we made it was, we just did to go. call yes, Yeah, oh yeah, that's so cool. A lot of businesses actually flourished because of that. And what makes it special, a lot of customers the day one customers. They've been with us here since day one. That's since awesome. Open. That's awesome. I want to come back here and eat. I wish that Nick's was open. I'm yes, sad that it's not, but I can't spend the night to wait and eat lunch. Yes, So I'll have to come back another day. And what's your you. name, ma'am? My name is Sherry Martin, and I have a TV show in uh, Georgia, and it's called The Sherry Show. And I feature all kinds of things. I'm a Christian, conservative, crazy woman, and I love movies. It's <laughs> Sherry Martin. Sherry and Martin. You're, and you'll cook yourself. Yes, yeah. I did a cooking show on television for many years. Okay. And I actually came down today to visit the grave of my director from Atlanta. He passed away, and we're headed down to his grave right now. What's his name? His name was Fred Wyndham. He was a wonderful, wonderful gentleman who died at right around Christmas. And he directed my TV show for many years. Okay. So, yeah. So, so that's why we're down here. So you retired now? No, no, no. I still work, honey, every day. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still work. Okay. I'll have to be dead and I'll be working. So. Okay. Well, again, tell folks your name. My name's Kevin Brooks. And Thank I'm you around. so much for doing this. You're welcome. Yep. And what a bright light you are. I'm so glad I knocked on the window and made you come out. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'll post this on YouTube, and you can watch it tonight, okay? Okay, what's your YouTube name? All righty, uh, it's Sherry Martin, and I'll give you all that information, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to go now to part of the birthday party on Saturday, and I cannot thank each and every one of you enough. Thank you for being there. Thank you for loving my child. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for, for supporting Uncle John. Uh, this is the band playing, and, and Dawn just went over and got Nancy, and they just, Dawn and Nancy and Uncle John just danced, and it was just absolutely a priceless, priceless moment, because when we reach those special milestones and that happy 85th birthday, we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. We don't know what our 29th birthday is going to bring, but it's so cool to be there with folks that you love. So here we go. <laughs>
Priceless Moments, Priceless Moments. Thank you all for being there on Saturday. Thank you all for loving us. Thank you all for being there. And don't forget, July the 4th, you put it on your calendar, 5 p.m., 312 South Main Street. We're going to have an open house, and we want you to be there. We want you to hang out with us. We want you to just have some fun and to laugh and, and to love life. Let's love life again. I'll see you again tomorrow, only on ETC, where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet.